Okay, hello. Um, in my last video, I complained about the Atom Mini Pro ISO and the fact that I only have one um, USB out port. So I digged a bit deeper into um, what is happening there. And at least I can now explain why all my um, attempts to solve it failed. Um, so basically what happens is there are four HDMI ports, one HDMI out and one USB out. And the USB out can either be can either be um, in uh, host mode, which means it's able to write to an attached disk. So if, um, uh, well, if a disk is connected, it will just uh, get it and uh, use it for, for writing. And then there's an auxiliary mode, and um, that mode is used to stream and appear to other uh, devices as a, as a webcam. But these are two separate modes, which cannot be mixed. Uh, so the, the result there basically is that even if you would connect an, a USB hub because of those different settings, um, it will only work one way and not the other. So um, I believe that if you connect a hub and you have multiple disks on the hub, that would work because then it will first write to the first disk and then if this disk is full it would continue on the on the second disk um, but um, yeah if you have uh, um, if you have a computer connected and uh, and want to use it as a web prime, that will not work so long story short there is no no solution to this and i really want to keep the the hard disk recording so I need to find a different way of connecting than uh, this thing as a as a webcam. And um, what I came up with now is I will do the Ethernet connection straight to my um, to an Ethernet port on my on my MacBook. That's a little adapter, um, and then basically I can remote control the Atom Mini Pro ISO with the with the Atom software control tool with the software so then this works and in order to use it as a webcam i will now st still need to get the cam link so initially i thought i want to get either the the atom or the cam link now i need both but uh, i think then i have the basically the functionality i i wanted uh, the only other problem is is that um, if i want to display content from my computer um, i also need to use the HDMI input. So um, I would have multiple connections now between the ATEM and the MacBook. One is the um, one is the HDMI output of the MacBook to an input on the ATEM. Then I and then I will have the Ethernet connection between um, those two devices and yeah that, that should be it um, I just wanted to to share that uh, brief update and that was that was it thank you for listening and uh, I'm, I'm just starting off with this so you could really do me a favor if you like and subscribe because uh, this is how people will be able to to see this uh, video thank you very much bye bye